Okay, so this is the second time I've tried to make this intro. The first time I was just rambling on and on and too much wasted time. So let's get to it. Murray's Superior Pomade. This is some of the most classic stuff you'll ever see pomade-wise, hair product-wise. It's been around since 1925, says the can. As you can see, I've already applied, but I am going to do a hard cut where I show myself applying it. So right now, this is the finished product. You'll be see me, seeing me apply it. This is how it looks. It's like a yellow beeswax looking scent to, or look to it. It's a firm hold. Um, a little thick to scoop out, but it's, you know, just got to break it down to your hands for a little while to make it uh, have that greasy feel, not too clumpy. The scent, it smells like a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of the baby scented Vaseline or petroleum jelly, which is one of the ingredients. Um, so as I said, it's an oil-based pomade. This is the first time I've ever used an oil-based pomade. Um, yeah, so I'm going to hard cut to me showing you me using it. I did use a finger, half a fingertip full before I hard cut oh, with the clip I'm going to show you. But it's not going to be on camera because those are my old intro. And then you're going to see me use another half a fingertip to the part hard cut right now. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah. Probably use a little more to break down on my hands. I've not applied it yet, as you can see. Do something to the screen. Brown it up a little bit. Yeah, it really does feel like a Vaseline greasy. I've always seen videos of people use this stuff and they use a ton. And I can kind of see why, because it doesn't it's not like water-based pomades and all that word. It's a lot sits in your hand. It feels like you have to use a lot more, but here we go. Actually, maybe I did use a little much. I do have kind of thick hair. Excuse me, I'm trying to brighten up the screen here. Actually, there isn't a lot of, well, there's a little bit of tugging and pulling, but it's not crazy. Okay, my hair is slightly damp. Actually, I really like the scent. It's like an old school type of scent. I'm gonna take my comb here and just try to work it in there. Yes, my hair is not really long. I'm not like greaser style, rockabilly style, so you're not gonna see me try to do a pump. I don't even really know how to do that. Not even sure if my hair is long enough for that. I like to style it first with the comb to get the general shape going and then try to work out the nicks of it with my hand and get a general shape. It does have quite the shine. A lot shiner obviously than a water-based pomade since this is grease, oil, petroleum. And man, so far so good. It's going a lot better than I expected, honestly. Looking at my mirror behind the camera. And uh, man, that's really shiny. All right, let's see how long this lasts. So it is daytime right now, it's around, what, two in the afternoon. I'll update it as soon as the sun sets. Maybe around six or seven. But for now, I'm digging it. We'll see you soon. Okay, so it's been about four hours since I applied. The hold still going strong, still shiny. You know, I'm gonna mess it up right here and then see if I can comb it back into place. And what do you know? Effortlessly comes back into place. Now to wash it off, give you my final thought. So final thoughts. You know what? wasn't that difficult to wash out. Maybe it's the shampoo I used, I don't know. I used a Trader Joe's Tea Tree Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, yeah, you can see lines here. I gave myself a crappy haircut right now. But um, overall, I give it a round of four out of five. It was just great throughout the day. Hold a strong, shiny. You know, washability for me, about 90, 90%. 95% of it is off. 
I'd honestly recommend it. Three bucks, less than three bucks, what do you have to lose?